Love is the lifeblood of the universe and it flows throughout all of creation. Love has the power to move us in ways that we did not think possible and push us to be more bold than we could ever imagine. Aiden, I've thought about what I would say to you today for such a long time. I thought maybe I'd start with a Shakespeare quote or maybe a Taylor Swift lyric. I thought I'd wow you with something with amazing symbolism and insight into love written by someone else. But when I sat down to write, I realized that nothing written by anyone else could ever do justice to the way I feel about you. No one could understand the inside jokes, the laughter, the tears, or how hard we've worked <laughs> for this moment that we're in right now. Our story is sitting in a monsoon at Newland Stadium and laughing the entire time, even though we were soaking wet. Our story is watching you attempt to sing my favorite songs, even though you never know the lyrics. There isn't one part of our story I'd change. You've helped me give grace to others, even when I don't want to. You've encouraged me to be exactly who I am. You are authentically and unapologetically yourself. I promise to wear purple and yellow on Saturdays in the fall, even though those colors are tacky and I look much better in orange. I promise to believe in your dreams. I promise to never stop reminding you how incredible you are. I promise to love you openly, fiercely, and forever. Kaylee, as I stand here today, I am overwhelmed with emotions. Emotions of love, emotions of support, and emotions of endless possibilities. When I look at you, I don't see anything but a passionate heart and a compassionate person. You are the person who supports me in my times of struggle, and you are the person that is the first to pick me up. I love that about you. I love that no matter what, during the day, there will be three things that you do. One, you will need a quick snack. <laughs> Two, you will always need to make a Sunday target run. <laughs> Three, you will always hold my hand during the highest of highs, the lowest of lows, and always say I love you when I need it the most. I will provide endless support in any decision you make and be my number one fan. Whether it's making a dinner dish that doesn't sound the best or taking a risk for us, you will always have my endless support and whatever life takes us into. The final thing I will provide for you is an I love you. When you wake up in the morning, I promise to say it before you go to bed. It will always begin and end with an I love you. At the end of the day, the moment when I look at you, those big sparkling eyes shining in the light will always make me say, I love you. While of course love is full of hope and joy, it's also full of risk and vulnerability. Love is a commitment to share the best parts of yourself, but also the worst parts. It's risky to open yourself up to another person like that. It's laying all your cards out on the table and waiting to see how the other person responds. There are no guarantees that the person's going to respond how you wanted or that they'll open themselves up to you as well. Love at its core requires you to take that risk, but you've done so knowing that the upside is infinite. At the core of every human being, what we all long for, what we really want, is to find someone who will see us at our best and see us at our worst and still want to be with us. It's saying to another human being that I am for you, I've got your back, and I am committed to your best. In being here today, that's exactly what you both have done. You took the risk, you laid down your cards, you opened yourself up, and you found someone who said, I will love you through it all, and that's something incredibly special. It is that commitment that no matter how good or how bad things may be, you never stop believing in each other. You never stop growing together, and at the core of your being, you know without question the other person wants the very best for you. Marriage is a two-way street. It's a push and a pull, a give and a take. It's talking and listening, growing and changing, and not always getting your way. It's taking her to a nice Italian dinner when all you want to do is watch football and eat wings. It's a powerful, sacred, holy energy between two people that shapes who they are for the rest of their lives. It's more than just choosing the right partner, it's being the right partner, and knowing that with the other person you will find more peace, love, and joy than you could have ever hoped to have found apart. Aiden and Kaylee, based on the vows you have made here today, in the presence of all of your friends and family, and in the presence of the God who is ever in our midst, it brings me great joy to pronounce you husband and wife. Aiden, you may kiss your bride. 
It is my honor and great privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Aiden Flock.